Jens here for MTB News. This is the new YT ISO. YT is expanding its lineup towards the shorter travel. Trail bike, marathon, down country or just a mountain bike? The key facts of the bike are pretty interesting indeed. Light DT 29 inch carbon wheels with fast rolling Maxxis forecaster tires. A carbon frame which comes in five sizes and reach measurements ranging from 429 up to 513 millimeters. Should cover pretty much all the body size. The YT specific V4L suspension design you won't find on the ESO. It features a horse link with a rocket design. Not only it enables the frame to be a bit lighter, but also opens up some space in the front triangle for big water bottles. All cables are routed internally and where they exit the frame, the frame has clamps and clever features to keep them quiet and in place. At the aluminium rocker you can adjust the geometry to your personal liking. Just turn the flip chip and you can adjust the head angle from low positions of 66 degrees to a higher 66.5. The seat angle changes from 77 to 77.5. The drop of the bottom bracket switches from 35 to 40 millimeters. Growing chain stays are a feature YT is using for a couple of years now. Frame size, small all the way up to large, go with 432 millimeters, while extra large and extra extra large grows 5 millimeters to 437 millimeters. Pricing starts with the comp edition for 2,999 euro all the way up to the launch edition for 6,499 euro, which features the latest and greatest bits and pieces like the AXS wireless shifting and wireless seat post. We like the fact that all specs are featuring the same identical carbon frame. They are no cheaper, therefore mostly heavier versions with heavier carbon material. All stripped blank means no shock and frame protection. The frame size small comes in 2.3 kilo and 2.5 kilo for a large one. Shifting comes with the SRAM XO Eagle. Drivetrain with the carbon cranks from the same level. Braking power is provided out of the same stable. G2 brakes with 200 180 rotors are featured through all frame sizes. Our test bike is rocking Fox suspension. In the front there's a 34 factory with adjustable low speed compression and a lever to switch between a firm and a closed mode. In the rear there's a tiny DPS. Interesting is the remote hack YT is using. To keep the cockpit clean and simple they're using a RockShox twist remote. By twisting the throttle you open the suspension. While pressing the button you lock it for sprinting and climbing. YT is a gravity oriented brand. Everyone who has ridden one in the past will have experienced this. In the moment there are a couple of bikes out there with shorter travel and a geometry which has the descent being prioritized. YT jumps on the same bandwagon with the ISO. If you are switching the shock into the locked mode, you somehow have a hardtail feel on it. The lockout is rather strong and if you are looking for a tad more traction in the climbs, you may want to leave the shock open. At the beginning of the travel the ISO is pretty plush and we found ourselves using the remote often for quick sprints on the trail. If you like this kind of riding, you also may want to stay in the high mode for the geometry, which provides 5mm more ground clearance. This might not sound like much, but during testing, it sometimes made the difference between having a rock strike or not. On moderate trails, it's easy to gain momentum and to stay fast. Working with the terrain, rollers, pulling up, jumping on little roots and rocks, piece of cake on the ISO and a lot of fun. Riding the ISO more aggressively, you may want to work your way up to its full potential. YT provides some proper descending quality on its bike and the ISO is no exclusion. Means, the suspension design offers a good base progression wise. It came with the smallest volume spacers mounted in the shock. Therefore you can, depending on your weight or riding style, put in more spacers to increase the progression to avoid harsh bottoming. If your weight is heading towards the 100 kilo mark, it could get a bit tricky setting up your rebound. Our test riders out of this weight area ended up pretty much at the closed range of the adjustment. Going full enduro on the ISO, you will pretty soon find the limit of the forecaster tires. But the balanced geometry helps to keep the ISO in control, even going sideways through some corners. If you're preferring more grip and are willing to put in some extra watts into higher rolling resistance, you may go for a set of beefier tires. This option is something that people can look into if they want to close the gap towards the jet seat a tad more. YT Industries launched another bike which is not only good looking but functional and usable in a broad range. In its travel category the ISO has the potential to generate a huge following with its modern geometry and also its fair price range. 
Combined with the smart lockout on the bars, low weight and fast tires make the ISO a sprinting machine if you're heading to the top. An efficient position on the bike, going down on single trail, it's helping you with its supple but supportive suspension and overall ride quality. Geometry and stiffness are a healthy mix and offers a predictable ride even if you are aiming for some harder trails. So far about the bike, if you want to read more about it, just head to mtbnews.de or click the link in the video description.